We are in a small room inside one of the barracks of the fort right now, which more than likely was being used as an officer's quarters and might in some cases have housed up to three junior officers. In this case, however, it is uh, a room that most likely would have also served as a quarters for Reverend Samuel Kirkland, a Presbyterian minister who was a missionary to the United Indian Nation prior to the war and formed a very strong bond with them. Uh, so strong a bond, in fact, that uh, one of many reasons that the Uniteds did ultimately decide to join the Americans in the fight against England was due to some of the influence of Reverend Samuel Kirkland. And Congress, noting this influence he had with the United Indians, uh, with the coming of the war, decided to put him in charge of basically the United operation in and around the fort. And so Kirkland uh, was given a quarters here at the fort and the fort uh, was to act as his operating base uh, where he would coordinate various scouting uh, missions by the Oneidas and where the Oneidas could then come to bring him uh, their scouting reports or any other information pertaining to uh, what they were doing in relation to the British or what the other Six Nations Indian groups were doing with the British. We don't know a whole lot about when Kirkland was here at the fort, when he wasn't, uh, very scanty as far as his uh, diary entries when it came once the war really got underway. We do know it did uh, impact to a negative degree his missionary work with the Oneidas and all throughout the rest of the war the Oneidas were pleading with officers at the fort or with Congress to uh, urge Kirkland to resume more of his missionary work with them as they uh, feared that uh, they might start backsliding uh, on all the various things that uh, he had taught to them. Because Kirkland's influence was so great amongst the Oneidas uh, that was even recognized by the British High Command and while we can't necessarily say Kirkland had a price on his head through the British, we do know that he was a target for the British and with all the many raids that went on through the valley for the majority of the war, we do know that uh, there was basically an unwritten order out there that if any of the raiding parties uh, would be in anywhere around where Kirkland might be and they could either kill or capture him, that was basically going to be sanctioned by the British as uh, the Oneidas and some Tuscarora Indians as well were the ones that remained the most staunchly pro-American all throughout the war. And the British never really felt they truly brought, ever were able to bring the Oneida back into the fold, so to speak, as they felt they had eventually accomplished with all the other Six Nations Indians.